Hi friends, welcome to Markets Guruji. Today I will be discussing about the IPO of Aris Life Sciences. See the promoters of this company is led by Mr. Amit Bakshi. There are total five promoters, and Mr. Amit Bakshi and his team they found this company in the year two thousand seven. And today, it is one of the fastest-growing pharmaceutical company in India, and this company is based in Gujarat. So, the company owns one manufacturing facility in the state of Assam, and this particular facility contributes around fifty percent of the revenue. And if you see the product portfolio of this particular company, they have around fifty-six brands, out of which top ten brands contribute around seventy-six percent of the revenue. And if you see around seventy-five percent, seventy-five seventy-six percent of the revenue. comes from the sale of products in the metro cities and class 1 towns which means that their basically sale is concentrated in big cities and coming to the objective of this issue see the objective of this issue is to offer exit options to some of the existing shareholders that is cris capital they have around 16.25% stake in the company and they want to totally exit the company and some offer related expenses and see coming to the positives of this company this company is one of the fastest growing pharmaceutical company in india right now and it has very strong performing brands and this company especially has a very high profit margin basically they cater to the high lifestyle disease segment which means they have very high profit margin because they cater to very rich people and see the revenue growth if you see the revenue growth between fy12 and fy16 the company had a compounded annual growth of around 28% that means they have outperformed the indian pharmaceutical market that is the top 25 pharmaceutical companies had a revenue of around 12% you can just imagine the growth for this particular company and see who is divesting the stake as i told you cris capital by the name botticelli they have around 16.25% stake they are completely exiting the company and the promoters currently are on around 59.18% stake they are also di- uh, divesting their some stake see everything is given in detail in this particular list see how much pre issue how much stake they own post issue what will be their stake how much they are diluting and all and coming to the subsidiaries of this company this company has three subsidiary companies the first one is aris therapeutics aprica health aprica health is also known by name amai pharma and kinedex and if you see the top 10 brands of this company which contribute around 75% of the revenue gleam is save and also you can see the total list and coming to the top 10 brands revenue growth you can see the top 10 uh, top 10 brands revenue growth that is gleam is save the number one brand for this particular company it contributed around 142 crore in the fy16 and you can see the cagr growth of each of the brands 33 45 54% you can see uh, you can take a deep look and coming to the top 10 shareholders of the company actually it is top 9 see uh, mr amit bakshi he has around 39.9% stake and what is selling 16.25 you can see the whole list how much they own and all and coming to the promoter group divestment details see mr amit bakshi currently he owns around 39.9% stake and uh, he is diluting around 0.5% and see all the promoters are diluting just 0.5 0.8 one like that so this shows the confidence of the promoters manage this one management teams confidence in the company so that is the main reason they are not divesting too much okay so which shows the yes you all can understand what i'm trying to say is that this company is one of the best companies to invest in the ipo right now whenever it opens and coming to the financials of the company see in fy12 the revenue they did a revenue of around 273 crore and net profit of around 37 crore and coming to fy17 you can see a double they had doubled their revenue that is around 550 uh, 597 crore and net profit you can see 135 crore a net prof- the net profit see how many fold the net profit has increased and if you see just the 6 months of fy17 the revenue was around 370 crore and net profit was around 130 crore the entire the how much revenue they generate how much net profit they made in the full financial year fy16 they covered the same am- same amount that is 130 crore in the 6 months of fy17 so just imagine the potential of this particular company and coming to the standalone consolidated eps so you can as you can see the standalone eps is around weighted averages around 7.83 and if you see the 6 months of fy17 it is around 9.2 and consolidated also see just 7.88 and for 6 months of fy17 it is around 9.43 
and coming to the IPO details see the company has got a clearance from SEBI so the day IPO dates will be will be out within a week or two so whatever details right now we have I will be sharing with you and whenever the other details uh, comes uh, becomes open in the market I will share all the details in the description box see the face value of the face value is one rupees per share and total number of equity shares offered in the IPO is around 2.88 crore and equity shares prior to the offer and after the offer is around 13.75 crore and this issue constitutes around 21 percent post offer paid up equity share capital of the company and if you see the issue size issue size will be around 1900 to 2000 crore right now we are not confirmed but it is it may be mostly it is 1950 crore let's see whenever the details are being declared and see the listing will be done at NSE and BSE. Hope you all like this video. Thank you for watching friends.